Good afternoon. We are so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you enjoy this video, we hope you'll return tomorrow. I have just lost the nap battle. You can hear him playing. He's happy as a clam. Um, I missed his like sleepiest window to put him down. And so he rallied. <laughs> so I have not been able to edit the vlog today. I haven't been able to prep dinner today. <laughs> Is that funny? Here he comes. Don't you want to take a nap? I want to take a nap. Okay, go have no. fun. We're just gonna see how the rest of the day goes. We had already planned on just being at home tonight. Peter going for a run. We didn't wake up early after our weeknight escapade last night. Um, we were so tired this morning. And we're just gonna stay home and get stuff tidied up and situated before I leave this weekend. Um, so we'll see how this goes with him not taking a nap today. Sounds like you keep saying Rajal from Toy Story 4. <laughs> James, you got two Valentine's Day cards in the mail. And we're going to the candy store. And we're going to go to the candy store. That work. Little pick me up. Yeah. Maybe some ice cream. Into Windy City Suites. <laughs> it's all fancy for Valentine's Day. Jamesy, we thought they might have sweet tart hearts because I haven't been able to find them anywhere, but they don't. They're more like unique candies. All right, we got two ice creams and some candy. We'll show you when we get back because we're gonna stop at the bookstore. James wants it. James has not stopped talking. <laughs> he's also not napped, and I think it's, he's just trying to stay awake. We're gonna go to Unabridged Books. Again, we went here two days ago. Yeah, but there was a book that I really wanted Sarah to get, and she didn't, so. And I almost finished my, the other book I'm reading, which is The Three Pianos. It's called Three Pianos? Yeah. It's um, Andrew McMahon's memoir, and I'm gonna be traveling this week and hopefully relaxing this week, so I need another book. What happened? I fell asleep. <laughs> One of the carrier was trying to not fall asleep. But he fell asleep. We're home. He's awake. We got three cases of Pepsi for 10 bucks. That was an adventure walking back <laughs> from our Walgreens to three cases of Pepsi and a sleeping baby in the cold, but we did it. What? We're having a stare down. All right, this is our bookstore and candy store haul and Walgreens, we got some deodorant. I got this, The Book of Hope, with Jane Goodall and Douglas Abrams and Gail Hudson. Wow, what a collaboration. And then this novel that was on sale, thought why not. Oh, and this is the good stuff. We got Butter pecan, ice cream. I got six lips because they're delicious and nostalgic. The Chicago chocolate. I asked it. I asked them like, what makes it Chicago? They just like really dark, rich chocolate. We got Pop Rocks, which James is gonna try for the first time. Cowtail for Peter. Also, my mother's favorite. Yeah, that's okay. Really? Yeah, that's the and I got these too. I just like sugar. There's milk in these. 
Oi! Ready? It <laughs> hurts more than I remember. <laughs> He's like, okay, can I have the six plus now? More? Oh! <laughs> 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 kind of different, huh? This is my favorite song of all time. Maybe to my proud cortisol. Yeah, it's called Proud Cortisol. It's the last song in Coco. It's so good. Best Disney, Disney song of all time. You need deodorant? You think you can? We got Nemo on. Peter's doing some dishes before I cook. Look at this kid. He's probably so tired. Watching Nemo now, and he wanted to put the camera. <laughs> we didn't even show Sarah was off cooking like crazy. Mm -hmm. But look at this delicious, delicious half plant based, half not plant based dinner. Yeah. So I just finished tortellini that does have cheese in it. Both sauces are vegan. Mine just has tomato in it. But I know that would hurt your belly. Yeah. It's so got pesto. There's a little bit of Parmesan cheese left over. And delicious. Are you ready? <laughs> That's a sign of an Italian baby who loves his mama's cooking. Speaking with his emotions, his hands, and his eyes. Good job. You almost ready for ice cream? We got some special ice cream while you were snoozing. Get that tomato. You forgot a bib. Oopsie daisy. Hey, hey, hey. All done? All done. All done. Shake those hands now. <laughs> Kinda. Kinda. This feels like a Florida night, kind of. It's almost 10. Tonight's the kind of night where like, I don't know, it's like 38. So I would go, I'd go run in this weather if it was sunny. But you guys know, being that close to the lake terrifies me. And it's a, there's a lot of ice near the lake. Like, I couldn't, I'd have to run on the path, but just fine. It's lit. I don't know. Now I'm just making, sounding weird. I'm going to the gym. Uh, I was semi-convinced not to go today. Sarah also told me I could. Like, she, like, it would make sense to not go today because I haven't had a rest in a couple days. But I plan on resting this weekend when Sarah's in Florida some. So, I'm going to the gym. I'm going to knock out, I think, four miles. Raz still getting the representation of Planet Fitness. I will say, I'm glad I have someone like Sarah to keep me motivated and keep pushing me because these like consistent days, I really started, I'm starting to feel it again. Starting to feel the, the routine coming back. I'm starting to feel like the confidence in my legs. And I, I choose that word in, like specifically and, and I think it's important because it's not necessarily the strength in my legs or the speed for sure in my legs compared to what they used to have, but it's the confidence. It's the, yes, I did work out yesterday. Yes, I did run 20 miles last week. Um, yes, playing with James, I can feel the fatigue on my legs, but not to that point where I'm not gonna do it. Not to the point where my muscles and my legs aren't going, I can I can do this. I can't, I can carry you for these four miles and then get some good sleep. And then tomorrow night, we'll do a little more knowing that you know, we've got sleep, we've got food and water coming our way. Um, so I'm happy to have that feeling coming back. It's coming back slowly. It's not I'm not back yet. It's not like, you know, my 40 mile weeks living in Winter Park. Um, 
but we're gonna get there. And my legs keep telling me, or keep showing, they keep showing up to get the work done and showing me that we are gonna get back there to 40 and more miles than that a week. So it's exciting. I need to give the hugest shout out and thanks to Sarah because she just destroyed our apartment. And by destroyed our apartment, I mean she clean like the whole thing because we're not going to be home most of tomorrow mm -hmm. sarah's got a fun day planned with our niece yes and so i'm just going to go with to make it easier on time and dinner and everything and i'll hang out with james while i'm working at christina's tomorrow congrats mm -hmm. um so while i was running and then afterwards getting cleaned up and everything she was just cleaning up and organizing and tidy and just like tying up loose ends that we've been meaning to like put laundry away like silly stuff yeah that i really just, appreciate like, it Thanks. I'm really proud of you for going to run. Because I feel like both were kind of looking bleak at one point. And we were like... We almost went to bed at like five. Yeah, so I'm proud of both of us. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good afternoon. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. Where are we, Violet? Do you remember where we are? <laughs> what are you doing? Spinning forever? We are at Water Tower Place, getting ready to go to the American Girl Place. Jump! Woohoo! I'm gonna show you what else I want. Okay. Okay, so I'm showing Violet all the historical dolls, and Christina, her mom, has Molly. Auntie Jenna has Samantha. And I. Have Kirsten. Violet was in Disney World for her actual birthday. So today is a special day for me and her to celebrate her birthday at the American Girl Place. We're gonna pick out some outfits, right, for your doll? Yeah. Yeah. Can you show your sticker? It says, it's my birthday. Okay, we have a couple, but we're still, you know, it's very overwhelming being here. We gotta pick out the ones we really, really like. Okay. Whoa, that's cool. That one. You like that one? Ooh. Is this cool? <gasps> Look at that. I think you could press those buttons and make different sounds. Ooh. Look at this little American girl that we picked out. What's her name? Mary Ellen? Yeah. She's got cute pigtails, right? This is cool. We are going to enter Violet to enter to win this doll and a figure skating outfit signed by Alyssa Lou. That's cool, right? We won't know. Hopefully we get a call. We're going to put it in. Let's see. They're going to... Okay. They are going to announce the winner in like five days. So we got to wait, okay? But it's very soon. So... You get broccoli in the I don't like broccoli. I told you this. You it's, like broccoli. It's kind of good. Kind of. Maybe if it has like cheese on it. <laughs> yeah, you can have cheese on yours. <laughs> okay. I don't know. So we will show you everything Violet like, got. I like cheese on my broccoli. You do? No. No? Have you ever tried it? Mm -hmm. Oh, well maybe you should. It's really good. Violet requested dumplings and there happens to be a wow out here, so this is what we're gonna get. Here's my dumpling. <laughs> Your dumpling. What do we got in there? Those noodles! <laughs> Hot stickers, yummy. We got some orange chicken too. You dancing over there? Okay, let's show what you got. First, what's that? A dress! A dress! A Lunar New Year dress. Now what's that? A doll! A little doll! Mary Ellen. Okay, next. Oh, bunny rabbit! <laughs> yeah, bunny rabbit. Their name is, I think, Chestnut. Maybe I'm bunny. Oh, that's a good name. <laughs> and last, what? <laughs> Makeup, all different colors. Looks good. Alrighty, should we get a treat for the boys and go yeah. home? Yeah, but I want 
actually two. Yeah, of course. You, let's, let's Luca, have, Jake. Some. Yeah. Okay, our last stop is M Burger for some ice cream swirl. We can listen to this song. Wow! <laughs> Is that cool? I wish I could see this. <laughs> Maybe the boys will share it with you. Who did we get this for? Um, James and Luca. Yeah, they're gonna share it? Yeah. Okay, let's put it in our bag. Lego! Whoa! Lego City? It's a fountain. Whoa. That's the Tribune Tower. That's Uncle Peter's favorite building. Oh my goodness. Maybe our back. We're still at Christina and Co's. We made a yummy dinner of a veggie. What would you even call this? Curry. Veggie curry. Yeah, I got a simmer sauce from Trader Joe's I brought over. Christina had this delicious bread, which is also a Trader Joe's special. Little banana coconut number. <coughs> and rice. Mmm. <sighs> Peter and Jamesy are snoozing down there. It's a late nap, but at least it's a nap. This whack-a-mole woke up from his nap and he thinks Luca is the funniest thing in the whole land. Whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole. Luca, come make Jamesy laugh. Whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole. 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 Whack-a-mole, whack-a-mole.
for a decent amount of time is, is the key. So I'm choosing to practice what I preach today. I'm gonna be proud of myself, which is something Sarah, as I let her know that I was coming home, pointed out that I should be. So I am, I gotta go home. It is morning. We totally forgot to sign off last night. Peter did end up running at the gym. I did some reading because I missed out on waking up early yesterday. Um, and James went to bed easy. We just kind of all crashed after that. So I'm gonna start <laughs> tomorrow's vlog. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.